This is a brief overview of the RNG manipulation that I'm using for Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap, any percent easy speedruns. I'm going to be going over the Quick Escape, the Beach Boomerang, the Beach Bonus Potion, and then finally the Desert Boomerang. I'm leaving out any discussion of the later manipulations that I'm still working on because right now they're just not consistent enough for me to feel comfortable putting them in a tutorial video. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to avoid killing the blue snake in this room. So we're just going to hesitate on the platform and the snake will jump over us. We know that we're on the right track when we get that fireball drop from the blue ogre. Right, so coming up in the mecha fight, we're going to fight mecha and we need to not take any damage. And that's going to set us up to get a two coin drop as the first drop from mecha exactly what we're hoping for. And for this manipulation to work, uh, we need exactly three coins to drop overall. So a good cue is right when you pick up that first coin, you can go ahead and jump and you'll jump straight into the ghost and get cursed. We've got two coins in our inventory, which is perfect. It means that we're still on track. So next up, in the uh, falling block rooms, we want to get hit exactly twice. Doing so is going to set us up perfectly for uh, both the quick escape, uh, it'll cause a skeleton to get uh, to drop a 13 coin drop, and it sets us up for the beach boomerang as well. So here's a guaranteed hit. This is luck based, and we uh, had good luck there. So we don't jump here, we just run straight into those blocks, take that hit. So we've taken two hits, we're set up perfectly. And the first skeleton that we encounter is going to drop 13 coins for us. All right, we have exactly what we need for the sword that we're going to be purchasing. So we get to just leave without waiting for any more of the drops. So this also sets us up for the beach boomerang. So I'll go ahead and explain what's going to happen so that uh, it'll make sense as it does. In the first room, we're going to kill all of the snakes and nothing else. In the second room, we're going to kill exactly two crabs. Then we're going to hit the green crab once, which won't kill it. We'll take intentional damage from the uh, fire and enemy. And then only after that will we kill the fire and enemy. And that's going to cause it to drop a boomerang. So first room, I'm going to go ahead and kill all these snakes. The fourth snake will drop a tornado spell for us. So if we're running any percent, we'll pick that up. If we're running no major skips, we don't care. I'm going to kill two red crabs. And next up, we hop over here. So we hit that green crab, we took some intentional damage, then we killed the enemy, and we got our boomerang. So perfect. Now we're set up for the beach bonus potion. In the next room, there are going to be four green crabs, and the final one of them is currently set up to drop a potion. If we're running a one heart run, we don't want to pick that up. In fact, what we're going to do in that case is we're going to take one more hit from a green crab so that that uh, crab is forced to drop a uh, is forced to drop a heart for us instead so that we can fill the full. If we are going to be picking up a heart in this run, then it's totally fine for us to go ahead and pick up that potion. It can offer some safety for our run. So I'm going to show the, uh, the potion route here, and then I'm going to pick up a heart uh, immediately after, because it'll be pretty clear why uh, why it's, it's not advisable for a, uh, a one heart run. We're going to just take no damage, jump over all the crabs, and get our potion. And then, because it's faster, we take intentional damage here. So right now, anything that hits us is going to kill us. Alright, so this is the end of this segment. We're going to save and quit, and I'm going to quickly explain um, how RNG works in this game. So 
the RNG in this game can be kind of conceptualized as this repeating cycle of 385 numbers. And huge shout outs to the, uh, the 8 bit beast, to Tasser, who worked on the original uh, Wonder Boy 3 to the Dragon's Trap. So each time that you hit a new value, or each time that you, you hit something, you get hit, or you calculate a, a uh, drop, uh, you are going to advance the RNG by uh, one number. So whenever we uh, save and quit, that gets reset all the way to the beginning. So right now we're at the very first number, um, the first green snake that we killed, we're at that number. And that's why we're able to have absolutely consistent, even if the beach boomerang was totally screwed up, uh, we would have an absolutely consistent desert boomerang drop coming up. All right, so for the desert boomerang, first thing first, we need to buy that sword that we needed. So the first room, we're just going to kill everything. Then the second room is where the magic happens. We're going to kill all the green snakes in our way. And then we're going to take a bit of intentional damage from the uh, fireball spitting sunflower. And that's going to set up the next green snake. And that's, of course, consistent as well. So we've killed those. And now we're going to take one bit of intentional damage. And now this snake is going to give us our boomerang. So that's the beat. The, we've got the beach boomerang, we've got the beach bonus potion, and we've got the, uh, the second boomerang from the desert. So at this point, two boomerangs uh, is advisable uh, for speedruns. Uh, after you become a mouse, basically every other split in this game, uh, you end up saving time just by being able to kill things and keep them farther away from you uh, by using two boomerangs. The lizard form is only able to use one, so for a while we were only uh, bothering with the desert manipulation, but having the consistent and reliable two boomerang route uh, ends up with more runs getting out of the swamp more often. 